We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Uh, try the coffee. Right. Just so don't much blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Are you staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. Do I'm me a favor, Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation! Yeah! Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ha! You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just it because does we're that, brothers, don't think I yeah. won't murder you in your You need to give it a good, sleep. solid whack. Mm -hmm. Yes! That's my favorite tune! Coconut! Shut your mouth, you demented has-been. If I had my hammer, I'd shut it for you. Jeez. Tune number six in the jukebox, Children of the Elder God. Now there's a song for you. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find you Stucky to, die, to get the key you? and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. He Overeager fans listen. always did. Hello? Mr. Stuckey? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. <laughs> This really ought to be fixed, and then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Oh, 
Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <coughs> splendid, splendid. <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah, splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Dom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Oh. Bye, Mr. Wake. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your... Your keys! That diner was a real nut house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home, okay? Okay, we can talk about this later. Batman here on PBF FM. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go with it. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Are you sure you read the directions right? It's nothing like in the brochure. It said near the lake, not on it. Don't get me wrong. This is so much better. It's wonderful. Our own private island. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public.
Here we go. Let's take a look inside. dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Damn. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. started to arrive. Just ran into one on the ferry. A famous artist, no less. But we'll see if we can rope him into an interview later on. Now, let's uh, go to the phones. Caller, you're on KBFFM. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's on your mind? I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan Wake, wasn't it? Uh. He's my favorite writer. Well, Rose, I... I just saw him at the diner. Oh, I am so excited he's here. I'm sure he's glad to be here, too. Well... Folks, I guess the secret's out. This is Pat Main on KBFFM. And now, some music. Great. So much for keeping a low profile. The power cable goes to that shed over there. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here.
Alice? Honey? I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. <laughs> okay. Surprise! Alice? What is this? I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past- Damn it, Alice, you, everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not- Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. We're out. Alan! Alan! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! Alan! What the Help hell? Me! from one nightmare and entered another. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma, by a Dr. Emile Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it, and I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. 